Hello. 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 Oh, hold on. Hello. 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 We're doing it. Hello. Hello. It's happening. <laughs> Welcome to the Droppy Patreon live stream extravaganza. First Patreon stream of 2021. Wow. Thank you for your support. <laughs> and what a year it's been. <laughs> and what a year it's been. God, I'm ready for 2022. Am I, am I right? <laughs> Damn, oh you're telling goodness. me. <laughs> Maybe by 2022, I will have seen your human bodies again have, in real oh life. Oh my God. Been in physical contact with another human being. Let's not jinx it. Let's not jinx it. No jinx. No jinx. No jinx. Uh, Julia's not here. She's still recovering from illness. So she's taking the stream off just to relax. Just take a nice her. bash. She's been doing a, a bunch. Yeah, I, I I should say that Julia's version of taking it easy has been doing possibly just like more work than usual. More work for the past than like three days. Yeah. And I'm like, you need to go to sleep. And she's like, what if instead I edit videos well, until <laughs> midnight? A little peek, peek behind the curtain just every day this week, waking up to like a, a series of messages on Discord from Julia, just sort of enumerating the various things she's done and accomplished on Drafi's behalf. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that day as that, I wake up. Yeah. As I wait, I wake up and it's like Julia has already done more than I plan to get done all it's, day. It's the equivalent of when you're a teen, you yeah. wake up at like one and your mom's like, I've already been to the store and walked the dog <laughs> and worked out. And it's like, okay, I get it. <laughs> I know, I'm a piece of shit. Stop flexing on me, mom. <laughs> yeah, if anyone is I'm like, trying to fix my sleep schedule. <laughs> if anyone here just today figured out how to get into the the Patreon Discord, it's because Julia just like went ahead and did the process herself of like <laughs> making a Discord account yeah. and like made a step-by-step -step guide for people making a tutorial a tutorial tutorial anyway it's hat stream not for karina though because karina's for... hair looks good today karina's hair looks great yeah. me and nathan's hair look like <laughs> stupid dog shit so we covered it with hats i cover all my dog shit with hats <laughs> it's the best way every to day <laughs> every day can't be a winner sometimes it's a hat sometimes it's hats uh, hats on to you, as they say. <laughs> um, Do we? I would get love a suggestion. For a Nathan? drawing suggestion. What should Nathan draw? Why don't we go ahead and get some some gestos? Yeah. Can Mug gestos. have beard to match Nathan? Sure. This is me. <laughs> well, it was a Jacob Mug before, and now, now it's, it's going to be a Nathan. Now it's going to be me. <laughs> yeah. No Jacob mug. No. Well, this is this is a, a mini suggestion because it won't take me very long. So if you see any other suggestions for me, uh, let me know, friends. I'm seeing lots of compliments of Karina's hair. That's good. Thank you. I approve. I approve of those. If you're not going to give a suggestion, you should at least compliment Karina's <laughs> hair. Yeah, I agree. Compliment Karina's hair or just compliment Julia for uh, existing. I'm seeing a lot of that too. Yeah, those are both <laughs> valid. Um, draw a guardian for Nathan. A guardian. Don't really know what that means, but I like it. A guardian? Hat dogs. Hat dogs. Hat dog. <laughs> Alone in the world, a little hat dog. Uh Cross what is a guardian hats. for me? <laughs> a cross like, between um, a bullfrog and a bulldog. Hmm. That's a separate Dinosaur suggestion. Dinosaur pop idol. Dinosaur pop idol. What is it is my it time to draw a Hatsune Miku? Yeah. <laughs> it's always time yeah. to draw a Hatsune Miku. There oh, and is. we've got some good cat action happening. Cat has arrived. 
Where to heck did I put my phone? Guess I'll just be without it for a while. All right. Um, I think I'll do Dinosaur Pop Idol. Hell yeah. So let's get a little Hatsune. This could also pose. be your guardian. This could yeah. be, yeah. My guardian is Dinosaur Pop Idol. <laughs> I'm going to do a simple Hatsune pose. I'm not going to go crazy like Karina does. But... <laughs> With her good ass hair. With her good ass <laughs> hair <laughs> and, poses. <laughs> and poses. What the fuck? Sometimes you just really want to draw Hatsune Miku looking cute as hell. I want to, but I don't think I'm capable. I don't think I have what it takes. <laughs> Maybe anyone can do it. it. All right. So it's like this stuff and goes like. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But it's dinosaur. But it's also a dinosaur. Let's not forget. <laughs> so I've got to make it a dinosaur. More important than anything that is happening here. Uh, Nathan and Karina, can we please do some Dynamax adventures this weekend? Yeah. Yes. Because Absolutely. I am what sick. are you up to tomorrow? I am sick and tired. <laughs> of Martin. PC. Especially I messaged Karina yesterday. Yeah. Martin was literally Martin was pulling some some shit. <laughs> Martin kept getting rid of his Pokemon that were like strong against the final one in exchange for like <laughs> the fairy type that only does after you. <laughs> he just always wants to go after you. He's yeah. shy. He's <laughs> shy. And I was just screaming. I was like, Martin, stop. <laughs> I lost so many of them because of Martin. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know why I act surprised when I have like a whole strategy where I'm just like, okay, I'll take this one and then someone else will take all these other ones and we'll have the perfect team to fight uh, whatever the last one is. And then they just keep, sh the same one just keeps shuffling them out <laughs> for like yeah. a weaker Pokemon. I hate it. They won't, they won't <laughs> Usually <let> Martin. <laughs> I'm like, I know you guys are AIs with no brains, but like work with me here. <laughs> I, I feel hate like that. because they're AIs, they should know the like perfect strategy. They should know <laughs> when they have a strong one. They're on some next level strategy that you can't even no, comprehend. Dude. They're on past level strategy, the lowest level. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's let's do that tomorrow. If let's do sure. that tomorrow. I'm down. To. Yeah, I haven't played in a while. I haven't played. I did one Dynamax adventure and got Tapu Lele. And that was it. And then I, I got, never and then I never played again because I got Hearthstone took over my whole yeah. life. I think you get whatever it's called, Suicune? Yeah, I got Suicune and Articuno are the two. I just I've I never more. know how to say it because like me and my brother had like the stupidest way of pronouncing that as kids, and it's just it just lives in my head now. What was for the some way? reason we called it Sesuin? <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know why. I don't think that's even how it's spelled, but that's just what we it's called. You no, know, this is what we called it. And now I don't know how to say it. Good old Sesuin. I love Sesuin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've just been trying to clear out the ones that I'm not interested in shiny hunting for, which is most of them. Because I only care about cute shinies, but. There you go. You know, it, it's always a struggle when you get like, what's the weird dragon one? It's like black and green and it starts with a Z. Zekrom? I uh, think so. Yeah. From black and white? I think so. I skipped that game. But uh, it's Zekrom and Reshiram. Oh, OK. Not that one. It's It's black and green. I can agree. Oh, Zygarde. Zygarde. Yeah, that one's oh, really yeah. fucking hard. <laughs> I hate it. But I can never like, beat it. Oh, because it has because it has power construct, so it yeah. like gets all its health back. Yeah. I can never beat him. <laughs> Someone always fucks it up. <laughs> you need you need to go heavy on the ice types because it's it's See, double weak. You know what? I Nathan. try, I try, <laughs> but I I leave the ice types for <laughs> the NPCs, and they're just like, um, 
we need a healing one, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like if we all three play, Nathan can handle the high level strategy. Yeah. Just tell me what to take and I'll do it and we'll win. <laughs> I just want to go with Papa Nathan on a Yeah. Nathan is to me the the peony and I'm the daughter, except I want to <laughs> go on the adventure. And I'm the main character who just silently watches it happen. <laughs> With the same expression <laughs> on yeah. your face always. <laughs> Anyways, enough about Pokemon Dynamax Adventures. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. No, we're here for Dinosaur Miku. Dinosaur Miku. Also, I want to do special shout outs to all the people I'm seeing who are saying this is their first Patreon live stream. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for, for tuning in and yeah. for supporting us. Yeah, thank you it for being really, here. It's like every day, the fact that people have elected to give us money so that we can keep <laughs> doing this is like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will never not be grateful for that. So thank you. They just chose to do it of their own free will. We didn't even make them. <laughs> we didn't even you you could have you could have not done that, but instead you did. Yeah. And so you get a wow. thanks. Sorry if I randomly went quiet. My sound keeps doing that fun thing where you two sound like robots. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. Um so I was I was just gonna sit here quietly until it passed, <laughs> and you enough. stopped going. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's just our voice, Karina. <laughs> that's just how we sound. Yeah, <laughs> it's, your accent keeps slipping, and it's so weird. <laughs> your little robot accent. <laughs> <laughs> I love that special thing. But yes, that thank you, page patrons. Thank you, patrons. Let's, let's all drink some Patron. Yeah. In honor of the Patrons. Let's. <laughs> let's all get messed up on tequila at 3 p.m. on a live Yeah. Show. It's 3 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> here. Right here. Nathan, this is really cute. Oh, thank you. I mean, Miku's I very like cute. It. She has... She has like Agumon's face and now. Yeah, she I was like trying to do a cute dinosaur <laughs> face and it turns out that's Agumon. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he is a cute dinosaur. Cute anime <laughs> dinosaur, Agumon. That's what they were thinking when they yeah. designed him. They were like, we yeah. need to do a dinosaur, but let's try to make it cute. And they were like, oh, like nice. Like cute? Nice, we <laughs> Hell yeah. Agumon. Oh, sick. <laughs> it was Agumon oh, sick. all along. <laughs> this is the face of the franchise. She's going to have like dinosaur, Man. like full dinosaur bottom. I was I was struggling because I really wanted to impulse buy some Digimon art boards because um, I found some nice ones on eBay. And then I decided against it. But now this is making me want to do it again. <laughs> Wow. I'm you see one good dinosaur you. and it, oh, <laughs> it awakens something in you. <laughs> I think you should do it. Yeah. I mean, I should work. do it, but do I need to do it? Well, no, but like, you don't need I love like, waffling around about dumb shit I want to buy and then just not buying it. it these helps people have, money. have given us their money so that we can spend it on <laughs> dumb stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's why they, they're giving us money. That's what they want. <laughs> it's what they want. I'm always struggling with dumb stuff to buy. I'm still waffling on that Hello Kitty rice cooker. Like, You still haven't it's bought it? It's a rice it? cooker. I'm still no. racing on that Hello Kitty waffle iron. That was a stupid <laughs> thing to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't understand. It's nothing. Karina said she was waffling. Oh right, yeah. You switched them. I, I just switch. It's it, but it's not. It's nothing. <laughs> but you did switch them. <laughs> so that's something. It's I guess. <laughs> this is something though. <laughs> this dinosaur. Her hair goes like. I get this on a waffle iron. Yeah. 
Yeah, if I could have this on every waffle I ever eat. <laughs> I have a waffle iron and, and I like cover never up use the scale it. I drew. <laughs> it's so rare. Let's make yeah, it I don't any know. use for my waffle iron. It's very specific Bitter. the occasions you have to use a waffle iron. Yeah. But when I do want waffles, it's a great thing to have. Damn it's just it's just odd that I don't own a lot of kitchen appliances, but I do own a waffle iron. <laughs> yeah, that's not because I've got like <laughs> limited things. limited kitchen space right now, and so I have to kind of be picky. <laughs> I can't have all the things I want. You know what yeah, I? Yeah, I'm just straight up taking up space, <laughs> huh? Waff waffle iron good for leftover French fries. Ooh. I can see that. Make like a French fry waffle. Yeah, make waffle fry. Fry waffle. Really I've heard of like waffle fry, but in the waffle fry waffle. Iron. What if you put like a sandwich in there? Could you like waffle panin panini fry a sandwich? I bet you I could. I mean, I guess you could. Yeah. You I've been wanting to rules. make savory waffles, but I keep not doing it because I hate cooking. <laughs> you should do it. Maybe if I figure out how to make a good like savory waffle, then I'll like making waffles. And I can use my fucking waffle maker more. Yeah. <laughs> I own it. <laughs> yeah. I brought it all the way here from Texas. It's a Texas <laughs> waffle iron? It's a Texas waffle iron. You make Texas toast? <laughs> well, I make Texas whatever fits in there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> They're in the shape of Texas. <laughs> What if we as a channel got really into doing like the pancake art? I've, we should. I've pitched Drawfee pancake art before. Like when we were coming up with like YouTube space pitches, I remember pitching pancake oh. art. But they were like, that can be one of the stupid things. <laughs> heat. Anything that involves heat is like a liability risk. So that's fair. Let's do it when we can get together again. Yeah. Because yeah. we can just film it in like our kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. We should have a series that's right. just like, <laughs> hey, we Julie's can hang out in. <laughs> yeah, we can hang out together again. We're just going to make stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> All right. This yeah. is Dinosaur Pop Star. Feral Drawfee series. I Nathan. love this, Nathan. It is Dinosaur Pop Star. <laughs> I love this so much. I might just buy those Digimon art boards. <laughs> <laughs> I love drawing something really, that inspires a, a purchase. <laughs> well, it's because one of them is like uh, an actual auction one. You can't just buy it. And it ends in like 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, snap. And, so I, this is a, and I've been this waffling is on it all week. On stream. Yeah, I might. <laughs> my life on stream <laughs> buy a Beelzebub art board <laughs> all right well if you do that let us know I'll and the, keep and you the, posted. Pa the patrons will know that that's that's their money going to use for that so <laughs> their money These specifically the, I don't yeah I don't only buy stupid shit I promise <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, right. all right now now I'm actually only good. sometimes I just bought. Do you know the the artist Crom? Um, uh, he's like the artist Roy, Crom. but slightly different. What did you say, Nathan? Did you make a joke? He's, I yeah, I said he's like the artist Roy, but slightly different. God damn it! <laughs> while while you are discussing this, <laughs> suggest no, us. I don't know. Su suggest for Karina. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> 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 I just bought some really rad shirts from an artist I like called Crom. Nice. Cool. And he makes really cool like posters and shirts and things like that. That was my frivolous yeah. purchase of the day. Yeah. I keep talking with David about all these like clothes we're interested in buying. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get real wacky with our fashion and i'm just like i mean now's the time like we're gonna look yeah. so cute when we can re-enter society <laughs> oh yeah totally <laughs> um you can test out all the weird shit you want to wear in privacy yeah yeah i got me a mesh shirt oh nice so i can just wear that around my house <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah 
Uh, Himbo Lightning McQueen. Uh, yeah, everyone, we should all get mesh shirts. Okay. Um, I'll get a mesh shirt. Yeah, I've got a, week. well, this weekend I'm doing, I guess my plans for this weekend are Dynamax Adventures with you and Marie Kondoing a bunch of clothes. So I'll have yeah, room I need to do that too. For new mesh shirts. <laughs> for mesh shirts. Well, only okay, mesh someone shirts. Said, yeah. Someone said Bialzaman <laughs> with Bernie Mittens. And I feel like that's oh, a drawing I for do, no one but me. I do want to <laughs> do, do some Bernie Mittens fan art on stream. Yeah. It'll be great because this <laughs> it'll be it'll be a month old when the VOD goes up. Um, but we're, we're deep <laughs> yeah, into and everyone will be like, really? <laughs> this shit again. <laughs> Because, well, it's it's great because, like, the group text I'm in, like, people are sharing all the memes, but I follow the most artists on Twitter, so I get to, all mine are, like, not photoshops, they're just, like, cool drawings people did of it instead. <laughs> I, I was telling Julia that I really love all of the Artist Alley people <laughs> shopping oh, yeah. onto their tables. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite biggest being at mocha vibes just like yeah what i i <laughs> wish that i had a picture of my table from otakon 2017 after the pipes burst and we had to rearrange the entire artist alley at 7 p.m and then reopen and stay till 11 because oh, that's God. how i felt <laughs> that's how i <laughs> felt Sitting in the stinky Otakon artist alley because sewage water came in through the Oh my pipes. god. <laughs> I'm just you like truly uh, to have lived <laughs> to have that experience such again. a life. <laughs> I would take it. I would take I would, it right now. Yeah. Yeah, I would do anything to go back to 2017 Otakon right now. I just want to feel we've, that alive again. <laughs> we've said it before, but feel, like <laughs> conventions are gonna have such a low bar for like everyone's just gonna be so happy to be there they can really yeah. get away with some stuff once I'm that like, starts conventions happening always again. got away with stuff but you know what i would sit there and accept otakon making me work 13 hours on a saturday <laughs> if it meant being able to like be in a place like that again <laughs> yeah jeez Oh my we'll god, get you there. already have the face perfect. <laughs> oh, I guess he's he's all masked up. Wear yeah. your mask, Bielzamon. Wear your mask, Bielzamon. Under the... No. <laughs> yeah. Under your other mask. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of your... his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually part of his face. He can't take it off. <laughs> I mean, I did realize because I forget, but I did remember recently that he he does have a face under his bird mask because oh, yeah. he has a nose. So, <laughs> so is it just a mask? He has a human nose. So, I mean, it well, never comes Bielsen off. But was on that's mask the implication before it was the thing but not oh, in the right spot i don't have my phone so i can't look at all the bernie memes i have <laughs> saved <on my> phone. <laughs> i'll just have to guess from memory <laughs> yeah bernie meme from memory what you bernie can... memes do you have saved on your phone <laughs> i have the one of him in the cart from the beginning of skyrim <laughs> <laughs> yeah that one's a good, good. One. My favorite I have one. the oh, one. Go ahead. Oh, no, you go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was just going to say my favorite or the one that hit me the most viscerally was the Bernie selling merch at a rock concert. Yeah. One. It like <laughs> struck. It, it rung so true to me. <laughs> um, I think my favorite ones are uh, Goosenberg made <laughs> one with. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one. At the movie theater. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> they did such a good Photoshop. It they like layered so it so well. <laughs> that one made me laugh. <laughs> faces like coming in in front of him. Oh man, really yeah. good. And then um, Lauren sent me one that was him on the. Uh, it's very specific. The sleepy time tea, like with the bear in the nightgown. It's just him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's for anyone else, but it's it was just... for me. 
And then it's someone, of joy. course, uh, put him in the Destiel <laughs> confession scene. <laughs> that one made me laugh. <laughs> Sometimes it is fun to check the supernatural tag on Tumblr. <laughs> Pierce FC9 oh, has informed sp- me that the merch Bernie was made by the manager of Pup, which is one of my favorite bands these days. So that's nice. Really fun. So they know. They know. They know. They freaking know. Someone did uh, <laughs> him at the bus station from Totoro. That's good. Yeah, I saw that one. That was a good one. <laughs> Classic burn. It's just. Um, you know, some things you can just enjoy. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate those things. It's nice to have a good time. It's nice to just have a good time. It's nice to not be like as existentially terrified. Yeah, just just a little time. less. <laughs> just a little less. As a treat. <laughs> yeah. As a treat. We take what we can get. Yeah. Any less I can get. I will have. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> you, you need to move up. Uh, boy, I love drawing sitting poses. Uh, oh God. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crossed le- the crossed arms and crossed legs. It's like such a it's oh, such no. a closed. <laughs> oh, it's just it's <laughs> a good time. It was a good time on the internet. Sometimes you can have a good yeah. time on the internet. Sometimes internet okay. Sometimes internet okay. <laughs> I'll say like I one I had time. My phone so I could look up reference. <laughs> yeah, one time the internet was okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's not get crazy and say yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Every yeah, one exactly one time. <laughs> yeah. Any Every- previous times are um erased <laughs> by the new one time <laughs> november 5th is like dead to me <laughs> we don't need it since... anymore <laughs> days since internet was a good time and it just constantly switches from zero to one and then back to zero <laughs> Did I leave my phone but y'all make the, the internet a good time for me. Are you I'll talking about that. me or the chat? Both. Whoa. I think it's both. Wow. I, think, I think it's a it's a the Drawfee experience. Hanging out with you, my friends, here on stream and and also our friends in the in the chat. I agree, Nathan. It just it's been it's been a balm for these these past four yeah. years. I guess five years. I'll, I count campaign 2016 as part of the the whole thing. It's all been bad for so long. It's, it really <laughs> has yeah. been. And it's, it's not like magically better now, but it is it's it's a it's little just better. Not and as bad. <laughs> it's like I'll take it. My standards have been How's lowered so leg? much. <laughs> Is this how you leg? Oh my god! You can I don't leg wanna... however you want. Why did I? Why did I leave my phone in the other room? I could have had a reference <laughs> without having to stop. Do leg from from the heart. Do leg from the heart. Do leg from the heart. I could... Yeah. Oh, it doesn't no, need to this be isn't right. <laughs> it's too low. God, they're more. Dang it. They're more forward. It's like there's a lot of foreshortening yeah. happening. But no. honest, honestly, <laughs> do you want to go get your phone? I'm you can open. get. You can get a reference. No, I can just. I can just open Discord. I was just trying <laughs> not to. <laughs> okay. Okay. I get it now. First of all, this is what reference is for, everybody. Yeah. It's yeah, this is Bernie the power memes. of reference. Never, never let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> Me with my small eraser again. Oh yeah, or you could just actually you could just bad. make it big and crop out the legs, as someone suggested. No, That's my, I'm not a coward. Yeah, the leg right <laughs> in the middle. I'm strong. There it is. Yeah, you oh, got it. Geez. Yeah, 
you know, you've got it now. This. Reference is so good. <laughs> I got a DM from someone the other day where they were asking about like, they were worried about using reference because they thought that if they were like copying from reference, they weren't going to be like learning or like doing it themselves. Oh no. And Aww. I messaged back and I was just like, no, use reference. <laughs> use reference. <laughs> reference is the most powerful tool we have. You saw as it artists. live right here. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're and, fucking up and look at me now. <laughs> and I would say if you're practice, if it's just for practice, if you're not like, trying to pass it off as your own work trace do like a, a trace yeah. pass and then try and do it again yeah because or or like do it yourself and then like move the Compare, reference image yeah. over your drawing and and make adjustments because like you will you'll learn from that you're allowed to you're allowed to learn not only will yeah. you learn but it's literally the only way to learn how to draw things that you don't know how to draw already yeah. yeah how else would you learn it <laughs> without yeah. looking how else at would it? i have done this <laughs> yeah i couldn't visualize what this pose looked like in my head yeah. but look at me now fucking nailed it <laughs> got him reference lord this is this is <laughs> everything i wanted to see today karina <laughs> thank you content for me <laughs> As per usual. <laughs> That's what we're you here for. need reference for Bialzaman's little outfit because I've drawn him way too much. I guess I technically have reference of Bialzaman around me at all times, so I don't need to actually actively learn. Yeah. Skin we're performing right now. Tail. We're putting on yeah. a show. We're putting on the greatest <laughs> show. We're the ever greatest seen. showmans. We're all the huge yeah, Jackman. That's us. This is <laughs> I'm huge Jackman. <laughs> I've got three hundred and fifty-five people watching right now. I feel that's like really that's high. Wow. I feel like that's high for a Patreon stream. Yeah. Thank you all so much. I want I'm, all, I'm gonna keep saying it. All three hundred and fifty five of you to say hi to me in the chat right now starting now i'm gonna be counting a lot of a lot of people talking about het's kissing in in chat right now <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why are we got heads, heads in chat in the why are the heads tag? kissing <laughs> what do you want to kiss in the supernatural tag <laughs> what if we kissed in the uh -huh, supernatural JK. tag and we were both heads <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the wow! Here come the highs. They're all yes. saying hi to you. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm getting high on these highs. I got. There are a few for me. There are a couple for me in there. That's not I'll what I them. asked for. Yeah. Well, they're what rebels. About me? I learned how to do something today. I learned <laughs> how to draw the Bernie that. pose. <laughs> Julie's not even here, and she gets a high. <laughs> Julia it's can nice someday to get highs. look back on this vibe. It's nice to get highs. Nice to get high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> here's here's my Bialzaman. Perfect. <laughs> Bernie <Great>. meme. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Every day I wake up and kill Leoman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gonna go kill Leoman, but first I have to stay for the inauguration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll stop by Joe Biden's thing before I go kill Leoman. <laughs> I guess Leoman is the one percent. I just have what if we kissed in the supernatural tag and we were both hats <laughs> stuck in my head now <laughs> forever. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, I need something to do a drawing of. Wow, Julia uh, has said that forty people have joined the Discord today so far since she made the tutorial for how to join the Discord. They were so, just waiting. They were, they were waiting just waiting. 
Help. <laughs> How do I join? <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I, if I <laughs> if I wasn't automatically joined to the Discord, I wouldn't I wouldn't know. Mm, tall Resident Evil. Yeah, lady. like I I get that. Oh, Tall Resident Evil lady. It's definitely gonna be Tall Resident Evil lady. People love the Tall Resident Evil lady. And She's by, big and her fingers are <laughs> knives. I am I am a people. I am one of those people. <laughs> She's so big. She's so big. <laughs> and her fingers are knives. Her fingers are freaking knives. I need a good a good refo. Hit me with a refo. <laughs> it's a reference stream today, guys. <laughs> yeah. I looked up reference of Miku. I did not look up reference of Agumon. I just, if you draw anime eyes on a dinosaur, that. you get Agumon, it turns out. Yeah. If you whoops. draw Tsune Miku's <laughs> eyes on a dinosaur, it turns into Agumon. That's just a, that's just an art hack we learned together. Yeah. Today. <laughs> Having trouble drawing Agumon? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drawn anything today, so this is going to be a big ask for me, but I'm going to do it for you. A big ask. Nice. And a big ass. Big lady. ass. She's a big lady. How do I want the body to be? I'm going to turn it this way. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We'll go up. Such a... Man, Jacob, you're posing... Every, every time <laughs> I see it, it's like... Damn, that's some good posing. Thank you. <laughs> I actually take a lot of cues from uh, Karina's posing. I feel uh, like we all got better at drawing when Karina joined. I agree. I look at how Karina do poses and then I say, <laughs> I want to do that too. I want to do fun that. And good. <laughs> it's inspiring. Wait. So thank you, Karina. Thank you, Karina. This is now a thank you, Karina. Wait, yeah. I'm just, I'm just in a good mood. Why? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in a good mood today. I don't know. Can't put my finger on it. <laughs> she has like one of these dresses that go like this and it cinch. Oh, it's a cinch. And then it go down. She got, she got booby. I'm going to say it. Yeah. Sometimes you got booby. She got booby, and I'm not afraid to say it live on stream. <laughs> and she's so oh. big. Got the knife hand, knife hands, which I'm going to exaggerate. How you get so big? How do you get so big? You shouldn't be that big. I mean, I'm I guess happy I, that you are that big, yeah, but like, I, I'm not gonna like tell her what she can and can't not do. Obviously, complaining. But. I'm just curious, you know. It's just it's really it's like bigger than most people can get. <laughs> <laughs> it's just just pretty big. It's just pretty big. This hand is kind of whack, but it's a shame that her. Her fingers are knives, or else she could play basketball. Well, they're not always My knives. My sound is breaking up again, so I'm just going to take a quick break to buy Digimon art boards. Okay. <laughs> okay. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad the the combination of drawing Agumon by accident and your internet being frustrating has led to this. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. That's just what happened. She's also got a really big hat. Yeah. Well, I mean, Which when I you're that even... when you're that big, you need a big hat to keep the sun off of your big body. Your big body, yeah. I love my ten foot tall knife hand wife. <laughs> she has like a the hat's like at a jaunty angle. Yeah, it's just she's got hair that does like this. She's really doing it. 
she was like, I'm just going to get out of bed today and be iconic. I'm just going to be doing it, I think. Today, I'm doing it. Okay, you can't really see what her hair is doing like otherwise, so we'll just... I like the the Patreon streams because it feels like the pressure is off. The pressure is never on, really, yeah. but... <laughs> These are people who have already seen what we do and said, yes, I yeah. will... I will support them financially. Yeah, it's, it's too late for them. It's like on the one hand, I do. It's like I wanna, I wanna deliver. I wanna, I want this to be a, a worthwhile reward. But on the other hand, it's like I'm just, we're just having fun. We're just pals. Yeah. And I mean, I, I kind of feel like they are more the types, and I could be wrong, but they're more the types to appreciate sort of this like process oh sure uh angle of drawing where it's like more figuring it out and less like i'm gonna draw something that looks finished from the get-go right and i mean that that's sort of how i feel about most streams because like you can't like when it's an episode it's like i'm drawing exactly one thing yeah and it's it's like that's my thing for this episode so i hope it's good Whereas stream, I'm I'm gonna if I don't get if I don't get it on one of them, that's okay. It's just it's just a whole long thing. It's unedited. We're just trying stuff. We're just trying stuff. And um, I like that we have that duality in our uh, in our content, and people can if people like both of those sorts of things, they they have both. If people only like one, then like. They only have to watch the one. They can be like, you know what? The way they do it on streams, that's not that's not what I'm here for. And that's okay. Cause we got vids. We got it all. We've we've got it all. It's all for you. If you think about it, we're really the perfect YouTube channel. <laughs> we're we're basically everything you could want. Um this is of course the pitch we're making to people watching the VOD after the fact yeah they're gonna Let hear this know. and be like wow they're right <laughs> they are right about we're probably the most objective um critics of ourselves yeah i would say and so. uh i think after years of rigorous study we've come to the conclusion that we're the perfect youtube channel i mean i think like my and, main sort of criticism of our channel is that we like put out too much good content. It's probably too much too good and it spoils the people a little bit. But it, you know what? I think they deserve to be spoiled by how good it is. As a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my audio is still all fucked up and I don't know why. Are you on the 5G? I'm on Ethernet. Wow. Oh, that's the perfect one. Plus, do I sound okay to you? You, yeah, you, you sound, sound great. What you is sound like happening? A, you sound like a, a wonderful Karina. Aw, you sound like a horrid robot. I sound like a <laughs> horrid robot. <laughs> How so does it feel Jacob. <laughs> to have two hard robots complimenting you? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> take it where I can get it, you know? Karina is good at art. I think Karina's poses are a game changer. That sounds so funny. Because <laughs> you do sound like a robot still. <laughs> I can make out your words right now, but it was doing that fun thing where it was just static for a hot second oh, while geez. I was placing the bit on my artboard. <laughs> I mean, shit, hmm. I don't um, know how to troubleshoot. Yeah, I don't know this. how to either, which is why I'm not doing anything <laughs> except uh, lying in wait <laughs> for the sound to return to normal. But I can hear right now. It's fine. This is fine. Okay. <laughs> I'll just warn you if it breaks up this is, again. This is fine. Yeah, you just give us give us a signal. Yeah, I, I have and... a really high tolerance for bullshit. So <laughs> if you sound kind of staticky, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah. 
Jacob, oh, this is her. really good. This yeah. is so expressive. Thank you. She's so happy to be, she knows how big she is and she loves it. <laughs> and she knows she's probably like, if we're being realistic, she's probably going to do a, do a murder on you. <laughs> yeah. And she loves that too. She's all about that. That's like her thing. <laughs> That's her whole deal. That's her whole deal. <laughs> she's a giant lady who does murders. A giant and what are you going to do to stop her? <laughs> Nothing, woman. probably. <laughs> All I want to do is see you turn into a giant mm -hmm. woman with knife hands. <laughs> I love that song. What those sleeves do, though. She's also got like some pearls going on. She's she's very fashion. She's she's incredibly fashion. Oh, she's got like. It's all like going into here. Yeah. This is this is the way it go. It's all it's all cinched. It's all cinched, and then it's got like a thing like this, and then this go down like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's going out and about around the the boot <laughs> the butt ass area. <laughs> and is she wearing like gloves? Gloves over knives. I mean, it doesn't seem possible, but it also seems like maybe what's happening. All right. I mean, I mean I'm not. I'm not going to tell her what's possible. I didn't I think it know. was possible to be that big. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so clearly you don't know anything's jack shit. possible when you're that big. <laughs> you just look like a stupid idiot right now. <laughs> Um, okay. J2F is Jamie to freedom. Oh, okay. I'm glad I tuned I just, back into the st stream I, right yeah. as everyone exited Supernatural Tumblr. <laughs> 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 Good for you. <laughs> Good for all of you. <laughs> you did it. You're free now. I was just, I had a headache yesterday, so I went to lay down and I just ended up going through the supernatural tag and taking you quizzes, which I guess are big with the kids now. You I quizzes? Like the which it, character are you one? Yeah, basically. It's just a new site for quizzes and they're okay. all, they all make me feel old. <laughs> I remember when that was BuzzFeed's. <laughs> yeah, thing. not anymore. Now BuzzFeed is a journalism. Yeah, <laughs> and a not hiring me site, but oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's what they're most known for. <laughs> most known for squandering their opportunity to hire Karina. Honestly, that's probably what I'm most grateful. Yeah, to Buzzfeed for it worked out. It worked out good for everyone who's us. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. But yeah, I was taking some like what is what supernatural kin are you quiz and there was one question that was like what other fandoms were you really into or like what fandom did you main in middle school and it was fandom like did you main oh my god yeah and it was like sherlock marvel glee um hannibal stuff like that ancient and i'm just like looks at this anciently <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. don't do it my bones uh, i'm stares. turning into sand <laughs> stares in late 20s <laughs> yeah I'm just like i mean i will admit Sherlock that i was into in middle school yeah i was Good like Lord. i was into like five of these fandoms at some point in my life but that was like late high school early college what are you doing <laughs> When I was in middle yeah. school, I was a fan of Dungeons and Dragons third edition um, and Heroes of Might and Magic three. I mean, when I was in middle school, I was in the Yu-Gi-Oh fandom because I don't grow as a person and Ace Attorney. Oh yeah, I was I was, I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, well, I played more. No, Yu-Gi-Oh was was high school for me. <laughs> The kid on the bus that I played against was in middle school. 
he kicked my ass every day. Yeah, <laughs> where's he now? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I haven't kept in touch with him. He's in the room right behind you. <laughs> oh, yeah, we live together. It was Emily. <laughs> it was Emily. Wow. <laughs> Jacob, so cool. Oh, this is great. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, dude. Whoa. This is just good. I just am happy with this. Good job, this Jacob. Is, this is the first thing you drew today? Hell yeah. yeah. A, turns out it's a, this is how I can tell if it's a good day or a bad day. For <laughs> it's a good today as, yeah. as you, as that sticky note panel of a comic we made for Snapchat that was on the wall of my office for a long time says, <laughs> today is a good. Today is a good. <laughs> Uh, I am done though. Ooh. Hell yeah! So it's it's gonna go back to Nathan now. It's me again. Okay. Remember this? <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Feel Remember old this? yet? <laughs> Feel old. This is what Agumon looks like now. <laughs> Remember Agumon from middle school? <laughs> <laughs> um. What uh I'll leave Agumon up. Agu Agumiku. Um what would you like me to draw? Everyone. What for Nathan to draw? Am I doing only dinosaurs? <laughs> Dinosaur Damn. artificer? Wow. It could be fun. Draw heads kissing in the supernatural. <laughs> <time>. <laughs> don't even. <laughs> it doesn't even go here. Don't go there. Draw heads kissing in the supernatural. Unless. I think. I think I think it's dinosaur artificer. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, I think just sort of playing to my strengths. It's simply got to be. Yeah. It's like dinosaur and D&D &D class <laughs> or um, the, the other thing that you said. <laughs> uh, what kind of artificer, though? Uh, uh, a, a gunsmith? uh alchemist or the the other one the other one it's probably the other one okay 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 i don't know what the other one is i just yeah i don't know what like to pick the mystery option art <laughs> I've, got my, I've got my eberron book right here let's you know i can just let's take a look this is just some free wizards of the coast uh merch plugging right here <laughs> Wizards get at me. <laughs> uh, Slip that quiche into Nathan's pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> quiche. Where is where is Artificer? This is a thrilling part vamp, of the stream. Vamp yeah. for me. <laughs> let's put let's put Miku back up while I yeah, look. put up yeah. Dino Miku. <laughs> Check on my bid there it on is. the Digimon art board as if anyone else in the world cares about this other than me. It's artillerist, battlesmith, and alchemist. I think it's, ba I'm doing a battlesmith. Do a battlesmith. They you make whole battles. battles. Karina, did it's you win? Uh, we got. Five minutes left. Also, winning, no one has bidded on this in a week because <laughs> I found it about a week ago and I know there's zero bits on it. So <laughs> they're waiting to swoop in and last minute. They better not. You're going to I get did swooped. that. I did that. No. You're going to get sniped. <laughs> they're going to no. swoop the swooper. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to lose it at the last minute. It'll be Jacob. Yeah, I'm going to swoop in and buy it, and then I'll just have it. <laughs> I'll come on stream every time holding it in my hands, being like, Whoa. what do I even do with this? Yeah. So weird that I have this. I just misclicked and bought it. <laughs> How does that, that even happen? 
I, I hate know. when that happens. I hate it when I misclick and just get the thing. Yeah, I place a trying. bid <laughs> on the thing my friend was trying to buy. <laughs> so weird. So weird. <laughs> it's just like Neopet auctions. I haven't done a Neopet auction. I don't know if I've ever participated in the auction house. I've been doing trading posts recently and it stresses me out and I hate it. So... <laughs> I don't like auction houses in like any games. Yeah. It makes me really stressed out. Yeah. It's like, just let me, whatever it is, just let me buy it in the game. I want it instantly. Yeah, I want it now <laughs> and I want to just buy it in the game from a computer. Yeah. From a like computer. an adult. I've had to buy these like expensive potions and stuff on Neopets for my pets to make them look rad as hell. And it's just... I get so worked up because you just have to wait for the other person to respond to your offer. And I'm just like, what do you mean you're not online all day like I am? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're not a YouTuber? Yeah. What do you mean you aren't just sitting at your computer and you can just like work like that while having Neopets open on auto refresh like me? <laughs> It takes you several hours to get back to my offer. <laughs> what are you doing? A job? <laughs> there was Idiot. one person who didn't get back to me in a day and I was just getting really like impatient. So I very dangerously put up a second offer on a, like a different thing and it used all of my Neo points. I had like 200 left <laughs> and um, like down from 2.5 million Oh my God. And I was just like, I sure hope these don't get accepted at the same time and I'm out <laughs> to 1.5 million Neo points, but it worked out. <laughs> I'm glad. But, high risk, high reward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I do. This is, this is who I've become this past year. <laughs> I was talking to one of my friends um, who's like big into investment in real life. <laughs> and um, he was like teaching me like basic investment stuff. So I would know yeah. smart things to do with my money. Yeah. Um, which was super helpful. But he was also saying that like, cause his goal was he hates his job a lot. And so he wants to retire as soon as possible. And he's like on track to retire like next year. <laughs> Whoa, oh my God. because he's been investing so aggressively. Um, but he said that he, because he's been playing it so aggressive, there was one day where he lost $250,000 in a single day. <laughs> Imagine having $250,000 <laughs> to lose. To lose. <laughs> and I was like, what? See, it was insane to me. The, I've been the, talking a lot with my friends about how like everything I know about like economics I learned from Neopets and that's why I don't like investment because I didn't find it fun on Neopets. <laughs> I was just like what do you mean like people actually do stocks? My Neopet stock portfolio sucks <laughs> and I've sold off half of them just to let them go at like low to zero profit and some loss. <laughs> How do you do this with like real consequences? <laughs> it's scary. Yeah, I mean it's it's super scary if you're like but I get he said that like that was like he expected that could happen so he was like ready for it. Oh. But I think when you like know what you're doing it's not as scary. But <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. It terrified me. Yeah, it's just stressful to think about. I just realized I have to go to the door because Julia's in the bathtub, so I'll be right back. Okay. Julia's in the tub. <laughs> Everything I know about capitalism I learned from playing Neopets all my life. I'll escape to the <laughs> one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Not <Space>! Neopets. <laughs> It was I funny because last week, um, so much. I was on video call with my friends, and we ended up looking at Neopets merchandise on eBay um, just to see what was up. And mm -hmm. 
so much of it is like priced up because like it's you can't buy it in stores or anything like a lot of it's out of print so they price it up a whole lot and um <laughs> uh lauren was complaining because she got me like a plush mirka and it wasn't that expensive like i think it was less than 20 dollars. but now she finds listings for it that are like 80 90 dollars and I'm just like, it's because everyone who plays Neopets is like a dirty capitalist trying to get their bag. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to try and get as much profit <laughs> on their Neopets merchandise as they can. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> really makes you think. Yeah. <laughs> So weird. It's so weird how those things are connected. Yeah, geez. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's Nathan, make this is this... really cool, by the way. Thank you. You're so good at like character design. <laughs> oh my gosh, Karina. Especially with dinos. I just I just think they're neat. Yeah. <laughs> Marge Simpson voice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just think they're neat. I've <laughs> been watching, I think I've talked about this before, but I've been watching classic Simpsons episodes on Disney Plus and like, nice. it's, it's fun to like view them now. Um, uh, just like knowing which parts have been memed and then like seeing the context <laughs> yeah, and being like, in the oh, wild. Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh yeah, she that was said just, the thing. She said the thing. They just like, they just put that in an episode that was on TV and then years later. Good news, I won my uh, thing. You I won said. your bid? Yeah, the thing you got that your, no you one got else thing? bid on. <laughs> oh, good. Yay. Wait, is this a, okay, so you're, you're getting the art book? Jacob didn't well, it's not it? a it's not a book. It's, do you know those like square art boards that they do? It's like a promotional thing. Uh, I, I don't, but I'm, I don't know. It's like, a, it's like a square art board. Okay. And sometimes they're like drawn, but sometimes they're just printed on. So it's it's just one that's like printed, but it's really pretty and it has Beelzemon on it. Nice. So let me just pay for that. <laughs> you got um, it. Yeah. Sometimes you just see your boo on an art board and and you gotta you just can't stop thinking about it. So that's just that's real. Uh, <laughs> so many adjustments to this it's gonna you know we're gonna get there Nathan it's cool Thank hello you. I'm back wow I'm back hello was it a package it was a package for Julia a package Julia's package it was a bit of a package <laughs> looked like it was something watch related unsurprisingly Ooh. Ooh. Nathan, I like this drawing. Thank you. It's like, like you know, art, yeah. artificers are like, they're like, uh, at least the um, the battlesmiths. They're just sort of like, like, uh, like steampunk sort of looking. It's so is this like another D&D &D class? Yeah, this okay. is a D&D &D class that uh, is featured in the, the Eberron campaign setting, which is sort of <laughs> like... Uh, Eberron's sort of like uh it's like a, a fantasy it's it's like magical technology world so like magic is so advanced that it like resembles modern technology so there's yeah. like a, a playable race called Warforge which is basically like if you want to play a fantasy robot oh yeah okay I know what that is and uh, I think one of the people in my roommate's D and D is doing Warforge. I think. Yeah, Warforge <laughs> is cool. And again, like you don't have to be in Eberron to have Warforge, but like that's the <laughs> that's the campaign setting that yeah. like that race uh, comes from. <laughs> Which again, this is all like what I love about 
fifth edition so much is like how much how similar it is to third edition and 3.5 which were like what i learned to play Mm. with and so it's just like all that's old is new again they just just made them more accessible Every day I learn new things about D&D. And that's just one of my hobbies now, I guess. Just learning about <laughs> learning D&D. Things. Yeah. Every day I like, like in the evening when my roommate gets home from work, I like walk outside of my room and like get info dumped on about D&D or about Star Wars. And that's just like what I do for fun now. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like D&D and Star Wars. Yeah, it's just, you know, I, I know so many things. <laughs> I mean, it's just like watching YouTube videos about subjects you don't really yeah. know anything about. Sometimes it's nice. It's just nice to hear people talk about something they're yeah. psyched about. So it's just nice to have people <laughs> to are around to talk to about whatever. Hell yeah. I had like a human interaction yesterday and it was like very exciting. And I was like riding the high of it all day. <laughs> oh man. Um, what was it? Uh someone like one street over but same apartment or like street number their package got delivered to our apartment for some reason even though it's like clearly not the street so um i noticed like a day later so i i his number was on the label so i called him and set up for him to pick it up and he was really nice about it and that was it (laughs) that's all it takes yeah Yeah. i'm just like wow to be out in the world again, except not really. I'm just like giving this guy's package from my front door. (laughs) Yeah. But wow. (laughs) I had one of those the other day. We went like to this, uh, sometimes if we just want to take a walk, we'll like find a coffee place that we haven't been to in the neighborhood Mm -hmm. and just go check it out. And we went to one we hadn't been to. And um, uh, just had like one of those interactions with the barista where she was really nice and so we were joking and so she was joking and we just had a nice time joking and being cordial Aww. and oh, i left yeah. that interaction just being like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i i talked to another person and we had fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> it felt so good to just walk into a place and make casual conversation with a nice person <laughs> i love it and then i was also like at the same time being like thank god i didn't say something weird or stupid because i don't know how to banter anymore yeah, with same, strangers though. i feel like sometimes people are like I'll, I'll do the same thing where it's just like i need to get out let's go to a coffee shop support local business and then they'll open up for conversation i'll just be like what <laughs> okay because <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how to talk to people anymore <laughs> yeah it's gone it's weird now i don't talk to people <laughs> that's unusual for me <laughs> <laughs> it's not normal sometimes i have a hard um, time when i'm talking to my like friend group from back home because they're, none of them are like super online yeah <laughs> and i realized that like you know from doing drawfee all the time and like talking to all of you all the time like it's <laughs> changed the way i communicate and my sense of humor <laughs> to be like pretty insider in a lot of ways <laughs> and so i'll just like say things to them and then realize like they don't have any idea what i'm talking about or referencing <laughs> and i just sound like a crazy person yeah <laughs> like i have to remember how to speak to normal people oh, i miss speaking to like friends outside of the very small bubble <laughs> yeah of like drawfee and the internet yeah you can't just bring up Heads kissing in the supernatural. <laughs> the supernatural tag. <laughs> that would require so much explanation to be funny to them. <laughs> the levels of it all. <laughs> yeah, to even be comprehensible. That's like me talking to my parents. I'm just like, I have nothing going on in my life except for the internet. Yeah. What do I tell you? But if it's if it's if I'm talking to my brother, I'll like force him to listen <laughs> to my nonsense. <laughs> That's a good brother. <laughs> yeah. He just sat there and took my entire spiel about <laughs> Destiel become canon in Spanish only, <laughs> like a <laughs> champ. 
What a hero. And I really appreciate him for that. <laughs> My brother's like more online than me, so he'll he t- he teaches me about the stuff. <laughs> Steven, if you're watching, love you, bud. Hi, Thank you Steven. for teaching about the stuff. <laughs> someday. <laughs> someday I'll go out again. Yeah, that'll be the day. I mean, we'll it is exciting. We'll all be wearing that. mesh shirts. <laughs> we'll all be wearing mesh shirts. <laughs> It's exciting to just like hear about people getting vaccines and stuff though. Yeah. Right. The fact that it's happening really to real people in the world. Yeah. My mom got her second dose, so. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. That's very exciting. Yeah, I'm glad. Don't want to be like my family, who's more on in the side of like I don't know about this vaccine <laughs> thing. Oh God! It's like you, you oh, think it's no. not preferable to the the disease that kill you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> it don't make no sense to me. Sometimes it just don't make sense, but yeah, that does not make sense. Sorry, I'm taking so long with this. No, uh, it's good. Yeah, just take your time. We're just chilling. I'm just gonna make this a fist. You're just vibing. Fist easier to draw. Karina, than Jamie open wants hand. to know where you got your mesh shirt. Um, I got it from a uh, Black Craft Cult. They do like witchy goth clothing type stuff because it sounds cool i'm i'm too I, i'm cowardly so i bought it mostly to wear under stuff but for when i am feeling brave it says dead inside on the front <laughs> <laughs> in white it's cute that's awesome yeah i've been doing some of that too i got some some private quarantine clothes for hell yeah <laughs> Jacob's individual gender exploration hour over here. Hell yeah. We so, loved exploring gender. It's the only good thing about quarantines. Like I can't go out anywhere anyway, so may as well wear a freaking crop top hoodie. Hell yeah. In my own damn home. That's oh, cute. That reminds me, someone did some like really good uh draw detectives fair oh, yeah, where that like good. York is wearing like a a, a jumper, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I or rom- it romper, the excuse me. Account, and then a jumper, a jumper, and then grandma's <laughs> wearing like a full dress. And I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Everybody I think, looking cute. I think cute. that that drawing Rose did of of grandma rocking the Jancy style is gonna influence <laughs> her. Uh, their uh season two outfit Ooh. perhaps so excited to reconsider york's look for season two yeah. i don't know like what direction to take york in with that <laughs> i can't wait to see is this spoilers yeah whatever i mean just that it's there's gonna be a season two exists. i mean that I mean, was already known yeah, people know that yeah i think people knew that and if they didn't here you go now you know You got a little triceratops? Wow. Uh, yeah. So like as a battlesmith, you get like a little robot companion and it can look like any animal. So I figure if it's a dinosaur, it would probably have a dinosaur companion. That makes sense. Is it a robot dinosaur? Okay. Yeah. It's a freaking robot dinosaur. It's a freaking robot dinosaur. Wow. Seamus O'Coffee said season two, they're all wearing mesh shirts. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe. Mesh shirts, mesh pants, mesh (laughs) shoes. (laughs) I 
I look like I got caught in a fishing net. Yeah, that's the look. That's the look. <laughs> All jeans outfit for York. <laughs> Jork. <laughs> Jork. Jork. <laughs> oh no, Jork. <laughs> Robin Ventura Chavez said, Nathan, your character having so many changes in name is so refreshing for me. I went through so many names before I decided on Robin, and it's nice to see it just be accepted for your character. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Well, congrats on on Robin. Robin's great. Yeah, Robin's a cool yeah. name. And uh, yeah. I like I it. I imagine when... it's a lot more pressure when it's your your own self and not like a character you're <laughs> not playing. A fake dwarf. But, but I'm glad that I'm glad that it could it could help. Like yeah. that's I love that. I love knowing that like anytime I do something and I don't think about it very much, and then someone's like, that really helped me. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> I did it, I did a accidental help. I mean, it's really nice to just have like an unintended positive effect. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's nice to be like, oh good, my my instincts for <laughs> reacting to this fictional situation uh we're on point this time yes <laughs> so thank you for the validation and and yes congrats on robin congrats on robin congrats on robin if you wear all jeans, you can be jobbing. Jobbing. <laughs> hey. Apparently, this is the rule. If you wear all jeans. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm Jacob no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe I'm like Jorkub or something if I wear Jork all jeans. Jorkub. Jork Could be denim Jacob. Denim Jacob. That does sound powerful. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it do, it's not going to make 100% sense the way this robot works. But That's I think fine. it's just like, like this. Give it like a little, this sort of thing. Right there. It's just, you know, to make something robot, you just have to like put arbitrary sort of breaks in things. Yeah, you just segment all the parts. Yeah. And it's a robot. And then and then, then it becomes a robot. I was yeah. thinking recently about like name name changes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And how like it's so different in like the sort of online landscape just because people end up uh like being known by their online handle more than their actual name. Oh yeah, <laughs> and they end up like going by this weird chosen name that they may have like accidentally picked when they were fourteen, and now is their identity. Wow, that's literally me. <laughs> it's just like a weird, unique time for like name identity stuff, right? Like <laughs> uh, sphere, Prozy D. Yeah, exactly. has like said that what Prozy D stands for is so embarrassing that he'll never tell anyone. <laughs> oh, it's not known. I don't think so. <laughs> I think his like his wife knows. <laughs> it's so <That's> limited. It. <laughs> Who knows? It's such a secret. <laughs> Robot tail coming out. I think here. about it too because like in uh especially on like secret sleepover streams, when I'm like reading all the subs at the beginning, I miss say a lot of the names. And some people have then just changed their Twitch name to reflect the way that I fuck oh. it up every time. Oh. And it's like, you, your identity is just different now. Now you've taken on this other name because I couldn't <laughs> say your name right. It is interesting to think about. I'm like, I have so many friends that I'm like, my favorite is real e life. <laughs> real life friends with. And I still mostly think of them by their online handle. And I'm like, is that weird? <laughs> I know your legal name, but I knew but. you so long as like your weeaboo name. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of normal in some ways. Yeah. 
it's just like a new I don't actually mind if people know me by my handle I kind of prefer it actually <laughs> I think this is by Dilvasaur in particular yeah, yeah. this is I, I do my, like Dilvasaur uh, <laughs> it needs like a back leg beautiful just, like, don't yeah, there are points where I'm just like, it. I should have chosen a less stupid name <laughs> to like use as my pen name forever, but it's too late to change it. And it, it's kind of, it's, it's very uh, unique. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for so. sure. <laughs> okay. This is Dinosaur Battlesmith. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> Thank Put you. this in the freaking D and D book, Wizard Coast. Yeah. Wizard Coast. Okay. Um, yes. Draw. I did. For me, um, Emily just handed me this uh, root beer float. Ooh. Oh hell yeah! Damn, I want that. Lucky. Karina suggestos. Oh yeah. Please. That's the stuff. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Mm. I want that real bad. Yeah. I wonder if I can get one of those somewhere nearby. Don't you just need root beer and ice cream? Ice cream. Quote, you just mix it together. I wonder if I can get one of those somewhere nearby. <laughs> that hit the spot. Emily, that hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, the gang and mesh. Draw the absolute worst Neopet. <laughs> This is another drawing for me specifically. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I can just answer that with a with a words um, while I get some more. Uh, I posted on Twitter that I discovered there was a supernatural like there were characters based off of Sam and Dean in Neopets because there's a storyline in Neopets from time to time. So there's Sam and Dean characters. I forgot their names already, but the Sam one is in Ogryn, and that's my least favorite Neopet. It's low <laughs> tier. And I just thought it was really funny that Sam, who I'm not a big fan of, is in Ogryn, who I think is shit. So that's it. That Sam Winchester Neopet is the objectively the worst <laughs> Neopet. <laughs> um, okay. It Little is decided. Phoenix about Bright. Sam and Dean. <laughs> <laughs> um Mothman Neopet uh root bear float. Oh, the name of a character in Dino Dragon Rats, Age Origins. Actually. These are so but it's many spelled options. different. Uh geez. I don't know what I want. High fashion neopets. I've been drawing like my neopets. You should check them out. They're pretty high fashion. They're very They're good. good. Um, I'm going to do a root bear float. I feel like oh, I draw nice too cute. many very specialized things. So here's a here's a general one Aww, for that's... all you normies. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta give something for the normies. I'm trying to remember how you usually serve a root beer float if you're can, trying to like be fancy. Here's mine. Oh, that here's one's what, so cute. Here's what mine looks like <laughs> uh, in case you need any reference when my dad would make them he just gives it to us in a cup <laughs> yeah you but yours do, has you can, yours has you the fun mug. top yeah you can do you can do fun top you can do like a mug a mug um, style like a glass i imagine if you go mug. to like a, a soda shop whatever the fuck they're called you know what i mean they come in like those little fancy oh little... yeah 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 the old, uh, um, the old watering hole. I cannot think of what a soda shop with the soda jerk. Is that what so, they're called? Soda jerk. <laughs> they shouldn't call it that, really. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Because it sounds right to me, and that I hate it. I know. I know. At the diner I liked going to growing up, they had a big sign that said "soda jerk." <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call you when you make the soda. <laughs> <laughs> You're the head soda jerk. I searched root beer float on Seamless. Mm -hmm. But instead, it just gave me a lot of beer delivery places. 
Oh, hell yeah, dude. And now I'm just thinking about ordering some crazy beers. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, the stream's going to end. It's going to be five o'clock on a Friday. Yeah, five that's, o'clock that's, somewhere that's, is that's right here. That's prime rip it and grip it time. This place has all sorts of wild stuff. Interesting. A milkshake IPA. What? That doesn't sound good. I'm sorry. <laughs> it could be, though. I feel you like every know. time I get like a really flavored beer, it's just a disappointment. <laughs> it depends. But maybe I just don't have a good beer palate, so I can't enjoy it for what it is. Maybe so. There was one time my dad like bought me this beer that was like a Ben and Jerry's beer because they make Ben and Jerry flavored beer. And I did not like it. It was weird. <laughs> ben and Jerry's. Yeah, it was like a beer. it was like a brownie oh. ice cream flavored beer. And I was like, I this know. is this is too much father. I don't know if I... <laughs> father, please. You know, he's trying. Yeah. I'm like, I know you got this for me, like to punk me because I am a butted baby in your <laughs> eyes. But like, <laughs> I don't know about this one, dad. <laughs> I mean, I feel like when you get a beer that has like a wild flavor, you still have to be expecting it to be beer. Yeah. First right. and foremost. Of course. And it usually is. And then I'm just like, but where's the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's that's like my it's problem. There. It's, it's the subtleties, dog. Oh, dog. Dog is the subtleties. It's about it's about the notes. It's about the notes. You, you gotta get those flavor notes. flavor notes. <laughs> Don't you care about the the hints? The hints and the notes. <laughs> there are hints and notes. I'm just thinking about that college humor sketch where no matter what uh the one person orders it gets served in like daintier and daintier little little chalices <laughs> like everybody else gets their beer in like a regular beer glass and then they like order like the <laughs> demon snake spit fire and it comes in this like tiny little yeah i remember that one <laughs> is it zach is it zach oyama in that one it's got to be right. I think I remember Trap being in it. Is yeah. Trap in it? I don't know. Look look that one up. Look it up. Look it up. It's a good It's a good one. I just Remind, love beer. It's like that's how I always felt cuz like Caldwell Caldwell knows about like fancy beers. And when I was new to college humor, I would go out go out drinking with with him and the and the writers, and I would just have no idea what to order. Caldwell always gets the weird beers with me, and I appreciate that about <laughs> Caldwell. Sometimes I, I I usually just get a cider because I like things that taste good. Yeah, <laughs> that's completely fire fine. That's correct. Good. Yeah, can't I, beat I, it. I, I don't like... want it to seem like I'm shaming anyone. Yeah, uh, no, I just I... really like beer. I, well, I like I, a good beer, but usually if I was like my dad will take me when I visit home to like go pick your own six pack, that sort of thing. Oh, wow. And um, Intimidating. Uh, I just pick it based on the graphic design. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm it's that a good person. indicator, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Usually, usually I don't miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do. <laughs> when I was younger, I would try and choose drinks that I thought would taste good. But now that I have um, ho- like awful stomach, Aww. awful, awful drinking stomach, I try and I try and find the um, the worst tasting uh, <laughs> beverage I can find so Hello? that I so that I'm forced to drink it slowly. Oh. Some like high level strategies. So I'll go. I'll go yeah, for like a real high concept, a real hoppy bitter beer that I I can't help but drink slowly, and that'll that'll last me a good amount of time before I have to pick another one. <laughs> Playing five D drinking chess. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is. Even though I know my stomach will hurt, if it tastes good, I will still drink it fast. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> You're just playing yourself. <laughs> yeah, I have to trick myself. But like, 
So much of being an adult for me is like figuring out ways to trick myself into doing things that are better yeah. for me. Yeah, basically. Because all of my instincts are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Um, is this is this a root bear float? I made it very yeah. fancy. Yeah, this is like a wonderful. I haven't commented on it, but I've just been like enjoying this process. This is, this is delightful. If I was, so it wouldn't make sense to put things like cookies and little chocolate bits into a root beer float, but but you could. It's Instagramable. Yeah. No, if they're like little cinnamon cookies, yeah. I feel if like you, that would go good. Ooh, yeah. If you're not into that, you can just pick it out. <laughs> I think like like a little spicy, like a little spice adds to it because root beer is just like whatever spices mixed in yeah, with sweet it's it's root roots. bubbles it's roots we'll put roots, <laughs> roots in there okay um that went really fast i'm gonna pass it to jacob <laughs> yeah let's go let's go <laughs> everyone can see my beautiful strong tall woman yeah, it's she so is again. good always happy to see her we love to see her. <laughs> Nathan metagame drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you spend less money that way, too. True You're facts. Right. Also, for everyone in the chat saying that alcohol tastes terrible and you don't want to drink it, that's even better. Hell yeah. yeah. Save save yourself the trouble. <laughs> You're crushing Just drink it. a root save beer yourself float. The money no alcohol in here. It tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what should I draw? What should I draw? Pirate cat with a fancy hat. Pirate cat with a fancy a hat. Supernatural tag. Shonen bird collector. Ooh. Best genus Jacob. Oh my god. <laughs> Fashion York. Fashion, Fashion York. Drawfing. Fashion York. Hi, Fashion York. Ace Attorney Bernie. <laughs> That has to exist somewhere. These are all really good suggestions. Yeah, there's a lot of really good ones. I'm just not, I'm trying to figure out what I like him in the mood to draw. Hunky Sky Pirate. I've got that thing where like I drew one thing I like, so I just want to stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> While you're ahead. It's <laughs> a big mood. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll draw the pirate cat with the fancy hat. I do like that. Yeah, it's That's always seems- hard. <laughs> Because we record Orville um, Peck and Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> we record two um, Drawfee episodes like back to back every week, and sometimes if I if I do too good a job in my drawing on the first episode, I'll be like in my <laughs> head. I'll be like, I don't want to draw for this <laughs> next one. It's over for me. I already I already spent it. <laughs> I used all of my energy. (laughs) What do you mean there's a round two to this boss fight? (laughs) I used all my potions. I used all my potions. Oof. (laughs) Okay. Okay. I want to do like a, like a leg up. Yeah. Oh, what did we pick? Pirate cat with a fancy hat. Yeah. Pirate cat with a fancy hat. Now I want to float or a shake. We will all float on. Okay. <laughs> I could get boba. Yeah, you get boba. I could. This is the power of living in Brooklyn. You can just get you can, anything. You can just get anything yeah. at any time. It really is like even. Like visiting LA, which I I'm not one of those New York people that think LA sucks. I actually really like LA. Every time I've visited, I've had a, <laughs> a really good time. But things close. You can't just at at midnight decide you want like a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> you have like, to make you'd have to make your own spaghetti. Most of the time, I don't want a plate of spaghetti at midnight, but. What it's nice to know. <laughs> it's nice to know you have the option. Yeah, like what if I do? <laughs> I'm so afraid. It's because sometimes, do you ever like travel somewhere else and you forget 
that not everywhere is like here and then you make the mistake yeah you wait too long and it's like 8 30 yeah. and everything is closed and you're like oh no yeah <laughs> guess it's goldfish for dinner tonight what do i do <laughs> hi julia I didn't forget. I just didn't turn them on. Yeah, I got a watch. <laughs> Julia got a watch. <laughs> Julia got a watch. Yeah, I brought it up for you. Go I'm glad. Yeah. Julia, go rest. Yeah, Julia, get out of here. Go rest. I have to make invoices. You don't have to make invoices right this <laughs> it's second. It's Friday. <laughs> you don't have to make invoices right now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> she's just been no thank this, you. In, this entire stream. She's been like sending us business yeah. related Discord messages. I keep, I keep hearing the Discord, and I'm like, is something up? Oh, it's just Julia still working. Uh, Julia, please rest. <laughs> Julia, please. It's Friday. Julia, we love you. We need you to be whole. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, yeah, we're getting we're getting uh, some Julia to beds in the uh, in the chat. <laughs> Last night, I had to play video games with Julia to make her stop working. <laughs> Julia, <laughs> what games y'all game, playing? Game her out of working. What games y'all playing these days? Yeah. Off stream, uh, we've been playing um, Deep Rock Galactic. Ooh, what's that? It's a game where you're these like dwarven space miners. Hell yeah. And you go into like on missions to like mine stuff on these uh, planets. And it's got like character classes and leveling up and all that fun stuff. It's really good. What's it? Is that what's is that just a, a PC game? It is a PC game. Cool. Yes. Maybe someday you can play with us. Someday. Nathan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nathan. I'm excited for that day. I do have to say when I get my PC working. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing a lot of Heroes of Might and Magic three. I I've re I've rediscovered that game, and it's 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 as good as I remember. It's one of I, those games that like I remember when I was like 13, and I saw it for the first time. I thought it was the coolest shit I'd ever seen, and re replaying it recently has just been like no this is I, I was right this is good <laughs> you were right when you were 13 i was right when i was 13 i'm right sometimes when i'm 31 you're right when you're 13 yeah. rarely <laughs> rarely but sometimes <laughs> yeah my friend alex really wants me to play gwent also play gwent get out of here gwent out of here <laughs> Apparently, it's a good game to play when you're frustrated with Hearthstone, which is what just, I am. You don't have to play either one. No. You don't have to play a different card game when you're frustrated <laughs> with one card game. <laughs> That's what you would say <laughs> if, you've never, if you've never experienced the hunger. I've not experienced the hunger, to be fair. Oh, look at this good cat. Wow. This is a pirate cat. Yeah. With a fancy hat. Trying to figure out what I want to do with the eyes. Aww. Oh, that's. <laughs> Maybe like. Oh, like yeah. That's a cat face. <laughs> like one of these situations. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Yeah. Oh, this cat's got to have a fancy hat. Yeah. That's like crucial. <laughs> it's part of the prompt. So maybe we'll do like a... <gasps> Cam, I appreciate your Gwent Paltrow callback to a different stream. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. Wow. Because I wasn't on that stream. I don't know what Gwent is. It's the card game from The Witcher. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know The Witcher had a card the game. The Witcher has a card game. The Witcher has a card game. 
<laughs> the Witcher the invented Witcher it himself. Has a card game, and the card game's name is Gwen. <laughs> it's the a Witcher. beautiful song. <laughs> <laughs> the Witcher went out into the freaking swamps and was like, "Who wants to play my card game?" <laughs> I made it up. I need someone to play test it for me. <laughs> <laughs> what about this this bog witch? <laughs> you want to play this card game with me? I'm the Witcher. I want to do like a big, like a big plume. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because if you ain't pluming, what are you dooming? <laughs> Thank you. Cam got my John Mulaney in the sack lunch a bunch reference. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> that was a John Mulaney in the sack lunch bunch reference that I Which made. Which part? When I the song. Oh, uh, okay. It, it was up. the tune. It was the same tune oh. as, as Grandma's Got a Boyfriend, and her boyfriend's name is Paul. I it's, didn't know it's that. The, it's the right number of syllables. Witcher's got a card game, and the card game's name is Gwent. Do, 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 do. Okay. Witcher's got a card game. <laughs> okay. 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 That's enough. That's enough, Nathan. That's enough, Nathan. Are we referencing settle, settle comedy? <laughs> you know I don't engage with comedy. Yeah, I don't believe in comedy. Fair enough. We've discussed this. We've discussed this. Jacob and I do comedy. <laughs> Karina and Julia are funny, and there's yeah. a difference. <laughs> There is a difference. And I think that's beautiful. <laughs> I love the pants. Yeah, I want some pants. Like <laughs> you can count on me to understand your reference like one time in five, but when I get it, I will let you know. <laughs> <laughs> And I appreciate that, Cam. I do count on you to get my reference one in five times. <laughs> and I expect you to let me know that one time every time. <laughs> I only understand references to the deep reaches of things I enjoy. <laughs> it's called being true to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. We're all about being true to yourself here. I only know about three things at any <laughs> given moment. <laughs> do I want? Yeah, I do want this cat to have this sort of thing going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, oh, yeah. yeah. That's a fancy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Amazing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, team. <laughs> Jacob, you're in such a dark room. <laughs> <laughs> it's only getting darker. Such a dark room just I like cheering it. yourself on while drawing this adorable cat it's with a so, fancy hat. The lighting is so interesting. <laughs> Whoa, Jamie, congrats on getting accepted into that class yeah, yeah, that yeah. 100 plus people interviewed for and only 15 were accepted. Yo. Wow. That means you're better than those other people. Yeah. You yeah. Way to go. I guess I'll turn on a freaking light. Oh, you didn't have to. I thought it looked kind of nice. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Well, you drew the cat, and the cat lit up the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with his presence. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, wow. it's back to me. It's back to me already. It's back yeah. To you. Wow. I did the thing where I drank all the root beer, and now it's just now it's just ice cream in here. It's not ice cream. A bad problem to have. Yeah, I just I just let the ice cream melt, and then I'm just drinking ice cream. Drink the ice cream. Drink ice cream. It just becomes a milkshake at that point. Wow. Drink the milkshake. Drink. The I milkshake. drink your milkshake. Oh, I should stop sharing. That would. Yeah. That would get us where we're trying to go. <laughs> Back to this good dino. 
This is such a good character. Thank you. We didn't come up with a name for it. Um, I'm thinking like... Um, Dr. Fossils. Manhattan. Manhattan. Dr. Fossils, Manhattan. Fossils, Fossils Manhattan. Dr. Fossils, Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> I would read a comic about him. Yeah, I'd be so curious. <laughs> Draw a soda jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. That's what it's called, right? It I is. Think, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. You're the soda it. jerk. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> Isn't it fun to imagine a person who is the soda jerk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's all have a flight of fancy and think about yeah. it. What, what if, can what you imagine if? a world? <laughs> Aw, now I just want to go to a diner with a soda jerk. Yeah. It's just a guy who slaps the soda out of your hand when you're about to drink it. <laughs> yeah, and then you fight him. <laughs> <laughs> you soda jerk. <laughs> One of my cats is doing a dukus. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Is it stinky? Not yet, but there's always oh. the chance that it could be. Yeah, it's a surprise. The soda jerk store called. <laughs> they're running out of you. <laughs> they said they're running out of you. <laughs> do you how how much soda do you do you guys drink these days? Um, Hardly any. I'll have one or two on the weekend. Because I don't care answer. about myself. <laughs> That's like a very reasonable amount of soda to have. I never know. <laughs> I try I just, not to drink too much, but I do love me some sugar. <laughs> An unhealthy amount of sugar liquid. <laughs> I mean, it's good when it's good. Yeah, it hits the spot. Sometimes I get the Coke when with the pizza. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. Like, the first sip of it is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. And the second sip makes me want to vomit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After I finish eating whatever it is I'm eating with it, then at that point, I'm just like, it's overkill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> but in the moment, it's so good. It's such a treat, a weekend treat <laughs> for me. <laughs> we love a weekend treat. Sometimes it's all I have. Yeah. I mean, it's like one of those things you have to set up little things to look forward to. Yeah. It's but like, oh, it's the weekend. It means I get the soda. But I'd probably drink even less of it if I still lived by an Asian grocery and I could buy the big bottles of Ito NT. I miss those guys. Oh, those are good. <sighs> I just like the big bottles because then I can just hold it with two hands and drink it out of the big bottle <laughs> like a like child. A baby. Yeah, I want to suckle my Ito and tea bottle. <laughs> I don't want it any other way. <laughs> it's also just cheaper to buy the big bottles and I miss them. <laughs> There's a Japanese, like a pop-up Japanese supermarket <sighs> near me. And it rules. They got Cupy Mayo there. Yo, I, I want Cupy Mayo. <laughs> I pick up the curry, uh, the curry bricks, <laughs> Japanese curry bricks. Oh, to dang. Make, to make the curry with. Uh, it rules. I just, I was so glad to move out of New Jersey, but I'll always miss living right next to like Japanese grocery and bookstore and oh. miscellaneous import store. I had it all. <laughs> Dang, that sounds amazing. I was also really close to a Target, which was just a nice extra. <laughs> yeah, bonus. But <laughs> the cost, the cost of leaving that place. <laughs> Golden or Vermont curry, it was, they had both. Damn. I think I got the Vermont. I got the Vermont curry. 
which I always thought it was funny that it's called Vermont curry. I still don't know why. That is funny. Like sometimes funny. the like Asian cafes and stuff around here will have a small grocery like table where you can get like snacks or miscellaneous things like QP mayo, but it's usually a little more expensive and it's not a big selection. I miss having a big selection. I was so spoiled. <laughs> I just want to live somewhere that has everything I want yeah. directly around me yeah. in an apartment that is exactly what I want to live in. Yeah. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> I just is, want everything. Yeah. How is he? He's doing this. He's, He's doing such like a, a jerk. Squat. He's yeah, kind of being a jerk. jerk. He looks like um, one of them old timey movie theater snack mascots. Yeah. yeah. He comes That's... in on the intermission of the movie and it's like, get some fucking bubbles, dork. What's the name of the tea I mentioned? It's just the brand. It's Ito N. It's actually pretty easy to find in the US, I think. But Usually they just have the small bottles of the green tea. They come in the green bottle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's the name Itoen, right? I think that's right. Something like that. I like always forget. I T O E N. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. But because they have different like that. something like that, but they got different flavors of tea too. And I miss I miss the other flavors and I miss the big bottles. I just want her back. <laughs> 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 You're like pure shit. <laughs> Just took for granted living next to that Japanese grocery. And I was right across the street from a Trader Joe's. I had everything I wanted in New Jersey except for a social life <laughs> <laughs> and an easy commute. <laughs> Maybe now we should all move to New Jersey. Make it the new droppy headquarters. <laughs> We'll move back to wherever you left. <laughs> yeah, we can go back to the same apartment <laughs> with the horrible floors and whatever else was there. The screaming rat box. Yeah. Screaming rat box? What does that mean? Um, what is screaming rat box? We had mice in our old apartment and we asked our landlord to call an exterminator because we knew that they lived behind the oven. Um but she didn't want to do that for some reason. So she bought us this uh, little box that you plug into your wall and it emits this really high pitched noise that's supposed to irritate and drive away pests. Um, Cause it's supposed to be one of those like really high pitched noises that only animals can hear. Yeah. Guess who could hear it? <laughs> Karina. <laughs> Every time I wanted rat? to use, the, yeah, I was the <laughs> pest all along. But yeah, and it didn't work, obviously. <laughs> she was just like, obviously. oh, yeah, like I swear by this. Uh, my sister has one and it totally drove away all the mice and it didn't bother her cat. And I was like, I don't know if the box solved the problem, ma'am, but okay. So we just had that in our kitchen, annoying me anytime I wanted to use the stove. Oh, that sucks. So that was there. And the floors were just really old. We had wood floors, but they were like totally wrecked for some reason. So it was really easy to get splinters in our own home. <laughs> Love that. But I lived really close to a Japanese grocery, so <laughs> who's winning? <laughs> yeah, you have to weigh it. Yeah. Oh, this soda jerk. I don't want to <laughs> debate you. I know you have bad politics. <laughs> this is the soda jerk. Oh, I hate he him. He sucks. <laughs> um, we we got like five minutes left. Should I just should I just draw a porfo or sure. do, you, do you want to draw something in five minutes, Karina? Um, I can try if you'd like me to. Go for it. Yeah, let's... Yeah, I don't always want to end on the soda jerk. I'm always mean and I try to pass at the last minute to Jacob. So I'll take <laughs> this one. <laughs> I'll, be, wow. I'll, I'll take the bullet this time. What, what's a quick one I should do? Um, Why does he look like Smash Mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Smash Mouth lead singer. That's his name. <laughs> Screaming rat box. Screaming rat box. <laughs> 
Okay, let's Give us a let's five, relive. Five minute screaming rat box. Yeah. That's also like a, an amazing band name. <laughs> screaming, screaming rat, rat box. box. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go to that show. Didn't help with my rat problem, but it continues to inspire. <laughs> but they play like slaps. real real lo fi like chill wave screaming <laughs> rat box. I was imagining just straight up punk music. Well, that also. Yeah. That also could. That also could. I guess it, I guess it depends which screaming rat box. There's the punk band screaming rat box, and then there's the chill, lo-fi chill wave. Yeah, yeah. they're actually um, the same band, and they play both types of music at the same time and <laughs> some people can just hear the punk and some people can just hear the lo-fi it's, yeah, like it's sort rest. of it's like uh yeah, yeah it's like laurel and yanny <laughs> no. the lo-fi one is screaming rat box all one word all lowercase yeah I'm just thinking because there was like Screaming Females is a is a band. Right. And then there was a band called Weatherbox. And then there was also a band. Oh, what's the, the punk band with Rat in their name? It's called like Rats Rat. Rats off to the... Uh... Rat... <laughs> oh, a Tui. Rats a Tui. Right now. Ratatouille. It's Ratatouille. It's not Ratatouille. <laughs> You're thinking of the movie Ratatouille, Jake. Yeah. Just admit it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Doing. I'm not thinking of it. To move my snack so I can draw the right line. It's like crazy to me they haven't come out with a sequel to Ratatouille because it's like you just changed the two to the number two in that. You've got You've got a title for your movie right there. Pixar, Disney. <laughs> Hello. Get on it. This mouse is not bothered. No, why would it be? It's just this a screaming rat box. Screaming rat box for mice is just like being out in public in New yeah. York City. It's like, yeah, that's just the, the sounds of the city, man. <laughs> yeah. Just reading the paper. Ugh, rough day for the markets. <laughs> the you rat know, market. <laughs> Karina's like bleeding from the ears. Yeah, I'm going to be over here. <laughs> I can't believe I can't think of this band and no one in chat has got it right either. Wow. Now I'm not convinced there is a band. There is a band. On, I assume Jacob down. knows what he's talking about when it comes to bands. Yeah, Jacob listens to music. He loves bands. Oh, you know what? It's Rat Boys. The band is called Rat Boys. <laughs> it was Rat Boys? Oh, that's a yeah. fun name for a I band. I could have guessed Rat Boys if I had just kept saying... Yeah, if you just kept saying... <laughs> rat rat on it. blank. <laughs> I was really stuck on Rat Kids in my head. Rat Kids would be a good band name, too. But the band is called Rat Boys. Rat Boys. I think someone in chat Rat actually did boys. say it. And wow. you And you ignored them? Wow. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Online. Yeah, one of the, one of the benefits of uh, these Patreon streams is you get to the CSB wrong online, which is something <laughs> we never do. Yeah, that's a special <laughs> feature. <laughs> Famously never been wrong before. Karina, this face is so good. <laughs> this is wow. what it was like living in New Jersey. <laughs> you just pulled it out so fast. Like you, this face yeah. is in you. <laughs> this face lives in me. Amazing. <laughs> the duality. <laughs> just reading the paper. <laughs> oh <laughs> ah. I 
I was I'm, the rat all along. <laughs> it was me. I'm the rat. I'm clutching hard onto a rice ball from the Japanese grocery store <laughs> that I miss <laughs> dearly. Uh, oh, you're gripping man. gripping food with force. Yeah. They had People freaking love that. onigiri over there. They had everything. Uh, I was so blessed to be there. They did this thing once a year where they'd um, fly in a bunch of uh, big fin tuna and then do a live cutting of it Ooh. and then just sell all the fresh tuna. Dang. So good. That's Dang. Amazing. When did you live in New Jersey? Was this when you were um, in school or? Post- right after school. So from 2015 to like 18. Huh. And when did you start full time at College Humor? 17. Okay, so you were still in New Jersey. Yeah, it was it start. was it was fine. <laughs> Y'all hear something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's here's screaming rap box cinched Amazing. it right at the end. Yeah. And uh <laughs> porf. A little porf. That's a Jacob. What am I doing? <laughs> Have y'all ever been to the uh, Japan Village in Industry City? No, but I've I've wanted to. It I freaking ribs. I forget what Porfo's hair looks like. I'm a criminal. Add it to the list of places we'll go. Yeah. yeah. When we can. I want I want <laughs> you all to show me all the places because yeah. I I famously never want to go any places and <laughs> if ever there was a time <laughs> yeah if ever okay. there was Things a time are gonna change nathan you're gonna go places <laughs> i'm gonna go yeah. places i'm gonna, gonna do go it everywhere i will to an extent to okay. an extent um <laughs> thank you all once again for supporting us on patreon and um if you're watching the vod if you uh want to support us on patreon we'd sure appreciate that and if you're watching the vod and support us on patreon and just didn't see us live we do this every month yeah so come watch come hang come watch it's uh usually the second to last friday of the month uh with some exceptions when there are like holidays and stuff i think we we did some rearranging for November, December, but most months it'll be the second to last Friday of the month. The last yeah. Friday of the month of, uh, is the uh, the draw class stream, which yeah. is a higher Patreon tier. But uh, again, those are those are always fun. Yeah, I'll be doing it next week for those of you who are at that tier and above. I'll be yeah. covering color and value usage in your drawings i will be there to learn along (laughs) with you i'll be there in the chat watching yeah i want the knowledge i want to yeah 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 uh thank you all so much have a great weekend we're sorry sorry Sorry. i'm gonna end it end it it. end it end it bye You have to end it twice. I know, dude.